This week on the spotlight, the Packers and the Bears. Oh, God, it was brutal. But the fans are cool as we talk to them at the Wise Owl, a very cool collection of folks. And then we flash back on the program to Michael Jordan playing for the Bulls. Can't go wrong there. And then we have some White Sox stuff. Ken Griffey Jr. is the opponent. You remember, he played for the White Sox also this week. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. Welcome to the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. They do it all at 108th and Kedzie. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to the Black Oak at 96th and Pulaski. Sunday, October 15th at noon. We will have a Be On TV event. Talking Bears football. Analyze the game. Smile. See you there. Family Dentist. Lawrence Ferlin. He is the dentist. 109th and Kedzie, crowns and ears, cleanings, and more. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting. Most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL. Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the Irish legend. Great food, great drink, outdoor patio, great staff, open at 11 a.m. daily. Really great stuff on the menu at 8933 South Archer in Willow Springs. I'll look for you there. Maybe we'll run into each other and tip one at the Irish legend. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere. From the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July. Just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Packers are up a touchdown late first quarter. And Mr. Rogers goes to work. Finds Cobb, and it's a two-touchdown lead for Green Bay after one. So to say it was a rough first quarter is an understatement, but there's a lot of time left. Let's find out what people are thinking. We're fortunate enough to have Devin Hester here with us today. Devin Hester's jersey. What's your real name, and what do you think? My name is George. What do I think about the first quarter? It's typical Bears this year. It's going to happen. They're going to be very conservative. They're going to make it seem like they're ready, but they're really not. So what do you do? Put in Trubisky? I don't think so. I think the organization is will risk too much. They don't want to do that. I think they're going to, they got nothing really to play for this year, and they're going to keep going the way it is. That's unfortunate. It is. All right, let's talk to more people. Tell us your name and uh, what you think of the state of the Bears. Uh, my name's Armand. Uh, you know, like he said, it's kind of typical. But uh, I don't know. I think I, I wouldn't want to risk my investment. But, I mean, we need a new face. I feel like Lennon just hasn't done anything um, impressive at all. He can't move the ball. So, I mean, why not? Why not throw the rookie in? All right. Tell us your name and um, what you think of the Bears situation. All right. My name is AJ. And... Um, I think the defense has been keeping us in the game. Um, two turnovers. Um, I would think I would say that if I'm on the defensive side and I have a quarterback who is constantly turning over the ball, I would be upset. Uh, it's a team sport, and there comes a time where if one guy isn't doing it, then you got to go to the next guy. We got to move on, and we got to move as a unit. 
and get the job done. I, I like that thought. All right, young lady, tell us what you think about the Bears and who you are. My name is Cynthia, and I love the Bears, but right now I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. I, Glennon had the two fumbles, but you really can't consider the second one a fumble because it was, uh, what do you call bad that guy? Snap, baby, a bad cool. snap, I'm sorry. But uh, I don't know. Uh, they maybe need to rethink how they're uh, playing the team. I don't know. Defense is doing awesome, though. True. All right. What do you, no talking? All right, let's uh, let's go like this. <laughs> tell, uh, tell us your name and what you're celebrating and all that. My name's Al. It's my birthday. I'm 35 today. Yay! And uh, the Bears are yucking it up right now. Uh, I think the defense is doing okay. The offense is doing terrible. I don't know what happened with that miscommunication on the snap. Uh, but Glennon's not throwing the ball. They're running it. I, I believe they should throw Trubisky in. It's, uh, that's becoming a popular opinion. All right, anybody else down there got a thought? All right, that'll, that'll cover us for now. Let's uh, say some prayers. Hope for a lot of Green Bay penalties. And... Uh, Talk to you at the half. Late second quarter, Aaron Rodgers. Why do they always have the ball? The handoff puts the pack up. Oh, this is getting boring. 21 zip, but the Bears come back. And guess what? Touchdown goes Glennon to right, and it's 21-7 at the half. He's wearing a, his heart on his hat. Right on. Tell us your name and uh, why you like this game. My name is Elmer Pentagor. I'm from uh, Houghton, Michigan. I've been a lifetime Packer fan. We're down here for uh, my son's getting married on Saturday. So we're down here for uh, t for the wedding. And we're, we're uh, Packer season ticket holders. And But we gave up the tickets tonight to come down here to uh, get ready for the wedding. Well, that's that's all good. That's a good family man. Yeah. So um, you were probably a fan when uh, Bart Starr was playing. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of I'm I'm from Upper Michigan, so a lot of the people in Upper Michigan are either they're kind of split between Packer fans and Lion fans. You know, we're really only four hours from Green Bay, and we're ten hours from Detroit. So a lot of the a lot of the people end up being Packer fans, even though we're from Michigan. So yeah, I grew up I grew up as a big 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 fan of Brett uh, Bart Starr, and obviously all the quarterbacks in between that weren't quite as great until we got. To, um, Brett Favre, and then obviously we, I feel like we have the best of all or one of the top two in, in, uh, in the game right now with, um, with Rodgers. So we're, 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 we've been pretty blessed, really. So, so uh, what do you see for this year's playoffs? Packers to the Super Bowl? You know what? The Packers started out with a lot of injuries, and um, I don't know if they're a Super Bowl team or not, but... Um, I, I think they're a better team than they were last year, but I'm not sure if they're a Super Bowl team or not. But we'll have some fun in between anyway. So. you got to appreciate the honesty. I <laughs> and we'll see what happens with um, your Chicago Bears a little bit later on. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater Candles, they want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop, give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Des Plaines Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Family Dentist, Lawrence Furland, EDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile. They do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work, impeccable. 
Call the Family Dentist, 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Late third quarter, Aaron Rodgers up to his old tricks, like touchdown passes, and the Bears were down three scores once again. Well, it gets uglier and uglier if you're a Bears fan, but a little bit of good news. Some people I know very well, one of the premier trivia teams to ever play the game of Benkowski Trivia here tonight as they are... Uh, on the correct night of the week. And, uh, you know, we switched to the video shoot here. So tell everybody your name and um, how you're hanging in there for this game. Well, you know, I don't expect much out of the Bears, so I'm, I, I'm not all that disappointed tonight. But I play with J&B, and we are the one of the last two out of three Bankowski Trivia Championships. And I think the last three out of four, if I'm not sure. Wow, that would be amazing. I mean, three out of five, I want to say. But definitely the last, like, two out of three. But I have a trivia question for you, Patrick. And that is, can you name the last Green Bay Packer field goal kicker to win a game with a touchdown on the last play of the game? Chester Marco. Got it, Pat. You're too good. <laughs> oh, they're setting me up. You're very kind. All right, let's go over here. Tell everybody who you are and... Um, how you're dealing with this uh, Bears scenario? I'm um, Don, and I'm doing okay so far on the Bears scenario. I'm a hockey guy and a baseball guy. Okay, so the, the Bears are down on the totem pole for you. Yeah, they, they, they'd be third in the hierarchy. Okay. Well, um, are you the kind of guy that would have said, throw Trubisky in at halftime today? I would have been the type of guy that says, bring Ditka in. Well, I... They might need a little discipline or, or some hollering. You know, it's funny. The next person I'm talking to is wearing a Bears Harbaugh jersey. So, uh, same era, you know? Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking about Ditka to coach. I'm talking Ditka to play. Ditka to play. Yeah, so, no, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We we don't need to keep showing Green Bay scoring. That's uh, it's hard enough to stomach. So yeah, big deal. Green Bay scored a touchdown. That's what they do. So let's let's go talk to some more. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. Long-suffering Bears fans. So we got more fans here, and of course I'm wearing my my Walter Payton, and this young man's wearing his. Jim Harbaugh. So not everybody knows Jim Harbaugh was a pretty good bear. And so tell us your name and uh, why you have that. Uh, my name's Will. Um, I got a Harbaugh jersey because I'm a big fan since uh, 1987. He was first round draft pick, handpicked by Mike Ditka. He did some great things in Chicago, but um, after they fired Ditka and let him go, he did some greater things in uh, Indy. Um, but I just respect him. Um, I like his culture, and he's turned out to be a really fantastic head coach. And he's someone I look up to and admire. Yeah, he's uh, doing good things in Michigan, and I, there's a rumor you thought he might come to the Bears someday. Oh, actually, when uh, Michigan wins the championship, uh, he will be the head coach of the Chicago Bears. Because after he graduated, after he was done with uh, college, uh, he went. He started his NFL career in Chicago, so it's only fitting that he'll come back to Chicago as a head coach. It's an interesting script, no doubt. All right, let's talk to uh, your better half, who's. Uh, all right, you're gonna turn turn to the camera and reveal. Turn to the camera and reveal. She is uh, not not a closet, but a an Aaron Rodgers fan. And how long have you had this Green Bay thing 
going on. Say your name. Uh, my name is Angelica, and he actually bought it for me last Christmas. So we're a good sport. You know, we watch the games together, so it's, it's fun. So when you're watching the Bears and they're not playing the Packers, do you root for the Bears? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Yeah, I'm from Chicago, so I have to. What What is it that got you into the Green Bay thing? Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, when Brett Farr used to be quarterback back in the days, I used to watch it when I was a little bit younger. So I got into the game with my cousins, and football is fun. And Winning is what it's about. Yeah, exactly. He's a big winner back then. So It's hard to argue with. I... You know, I, I, I want to say some wisecracks to Packer fans, but what can you say? They've had, uh, there had been about 30 years of great quarterbacking, and it, it looks like it's still going to keep happening. So good luck uh, in, in all you guys do. And I'm glad that you're fans of the Wise Owl, and uh, we'll see you here again. Uh, I might as well do a cheap plug. Normally on, uh, on this day of the week, Thursdays, we're playing trivia. So come play trivia with us, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you soon. Yes, absolutely. And we'll see you right after these important messages. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock. Live Bidkowski trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Does tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get to Papa Joe's. We're back on the spotlight and a very intense game was played last week when the Bulls squared off against the Pacers. Reggie Miller's pregame quotes are legendary now. The Bulls have nobody after Michael Jordan. The bench didn't like it. The other starters didn't like it. And it set the stage for some interesting first quarter action. In the first, Michael Jordan against the man who respects him already against Reggie Miller. And there was more. The Lovables performed a little break in the action, and the refs were paying close attention. Then Craig Hodges, Mr. Three-Pointer, guns from the outside to tie a late in the second. Dot left shrimp with the urging of Stacey King gets ejected early in the game, and the Pacers were in trouble. Just before intermission, Reggie Miller smashed down by Stacey King, and Reggie doesn't like it. However, Reggie made some great moves in the second half as well, Here's the steal and the basket. The game was tied at 76 apiece. Reggie also picks up a loose ball here. It was a great night for Miller. In fact, that put Indiana ahead 84-82. But Michael would hit nine of the next 11 points, and the Bulls were up 93-87. In the fourth quarter, Will Purdue, watch him with the left hand. The Bulls up 101-94. And then frustration sets in. Chuck Person ejected from the game. He'll kick the ball into the stands, 
Maybe he'll try out for the Indianapolis Colts. Then the ball comes back, and he's going to do it again. You know, somebody could have gotten hurt here. Despite all the craziness, Reggie Miller, with his 11th three-pointer of the night, cuts the Bulls' lead to 115-109. They wouldn't die. But then finally, off the offensive board, the third, the fourth shot finally goes in from Horace Grant. And the Bulls will win it by 14. The Bulls' eruption in the fourth quarter was a significant one. Reggie Miller's incredible three-point barrage has closed the Bulls. Lead to just six points. With a tremendous performance by that late fourth quarter stretch. Michael Jordan from the inside, John Paxson from the outside. Absolutely blew the Pacers away. And a pair of ejections didn't help Indiana either. Let's go downstairs and talk to some of the principals in the Bulls' 26th consecutive home win. I didn't think that the, that the, that the technical on shrimp and, and to be thrown out of the game. I mean, we're on the road in a big game, and, and he, I mean, everyone in the arena, the officials, everyone knows how good a player he is. You know, and he gets thrown out of the game. So I think everybody else tried a little bit harder. I don't, you know, I don't think we lost our composure. Chuck obviously lost his composure, and I don't condone that kind of activity, but. Um, you know, he's in the NBA and he's responsible for his actions. Talk about John Paxson. John had a great game. There's no doubt about the fact that he hit that open shot. He's ready to shoot it tonight. Uh, you know, early on it, it looked like uh, you know it was going to be a little bit sluggish, and then he came out and really came after the game. And uh, I thought he really mounted the the surge when we needed it early in the game to maintain and sustain our effort. You got a lot of comments from have an effect on the emotional level. Oh, it definitely had an effect. Uh, I think these guys felt um, insulted, and uh, I think the team felt uh, maligned in its own way. That uh, you know, a professional would say something about that uh, that would denigrate their talents. And I don't think uh, he meant it in a harmful way. I think he was just saying something in, in response. And so, you know, I think that given another time or maybe a cooler moment, Reggie would say the right thing. He's a heck of a, a professional player. On the other hand, John, can, I mean, wouldn't this game sort of illustrate the element of backfiring on a remark like that? I don't know. I don't want to get into that. I mean, it's not to us. It's, it was said, you know, he, it's, it's no big deal, really. I mean, uh, maybe it gave us a little motivation. Uh, we were more motivated by the fact that we didn't play well in, in, the, in the Indianapolis last time we were down there. So uh, I think that was more motivation than anything Reggie said. And that, that's, it's all part of it. Everybody talks. Would you like to play them in the first round? We're going to have to play somebody. And uh, it's any first round. I'll tell you what, the, the way that, that Indiana and New York are playing, they're playing very well. And it'll be a tough first round series regardless. You know, they're a good ball club. They proved that. I, I, I don't think we're going to underestimate this team any time that we face them. Uh, they got so many weapons to uh, to come at you with. Um, and plus, you know, I, I don't think uh, you know Hollis and Scotty played the type of offensive game that they wanted to play in the second half. You know, they got into foul trouble, and when you get into foul trouble, it makes you very timid. You know, you're afraid to move. Actually, to get those fouls, and uh, offensively or defensively. You've got to get the jacks. 3325 Ridge Road in Lansing. Trivia every Tuesday at 7 p.m. A very intense competitive game. Any of half a dozen teams can win. You've got to get to Oliver, 6100 West 159th Street for my live trivia. Alternate Wednesdays now at 7 p.m. It's a great place with great food and drink and fun. Get to Oliver's on a Wednesday. I'll see ya. Perfect pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the SOC. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great food, great drink, great people. Everything great. You've got to get to Mad Anthony, a great sports bar and grill at 3350 West 47th Street. They serve La Coco's Pizza, sandwiches in a full bar, and my trivia is every other Friday, start about 545. Fun times at Mad Anthony. See you over there. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday 
at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. And we're going to take you to a game at New Comiskey Park that essentially marked the end of the White Sox season, emotionally, if not mathematically. Things look pretty good on the brisk night at New Comiskey Park when Tim Raines delivers this two-run single and the White Sox had a quick 2-0 lead and you're thinking maybe Jack McDowell will win his 18th. Then next up Robin Ventura comes through with a blast in the gap and the two-run double makes it 4-0 White Sox. And Jack McDowell is getting very confident at this point and the 40,000 or so on hand are saying yeah. Number three in the batting order, Big Frank Thomas blasts one and this man en route to 300 times reaching base this year connects for the two run homer and it's six to nothing White Sox and Hawk Harrelson saying yes the Sox fans are getting very confident but a downhill trend began at that point and it would continue when Frank Thomas's former Auburn football teammate Bo Jackson whiffs and although he looks controlled is pretty mad at himself as he bops himself in the head and then Jack McDowell was bopping himself in the head when the veteran journeyman slugger Pete O'Brien connects deep here and makes the score 7-3 at that point in the game. And maybe McDowell's 18th victory is looking not quite so certain at this point. By the time the ninth inning rolled around, it was 8-4 White Sox. Bobby Thigpen came in to preserve it and ended up being the arsonist. As O'Brien slams through the key two-run double and Scott Bradley ends up tying the ball game at 8-8 eight to eight in absolutely shocking fashion. The White Sox in big trouble. They go to the 11th inning. The ground screw comes out for a second time around. And Ken Griffey Jr. stuns them with a two-run homer in the 11th. The White Sox go down as their hopes for the division. What do you think about it, Ken Griffey Jr.? There's a whole lot of me. I mean, right now, well, we've been struggling, and then we battled back. We lost four in a row. And then you know, everybody, we had a team meeting, said, hey, let's go. We got 10 games left. Let's put it in gear. From your outlook on uh, the American League West, which is pretty clearly the best in baseball, what do you see uh, the Twins doing uh, against the East, uh, if you think it will be Toronto? Oh, if it's Toronto, it's going to be good. Uh, you know, if they fall, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen to Boston. Uh, but it's going to be good. I mean, I'm going to be there, you know, <laughs> watching. Uh, you know, just like everybody else in the nation. I'm going to be sitting there watching TV, watching what's going on. But uh, hopefully, since it's our division, I'm going to root for the Twins. And uh, any thoughts in the uh, National League? Uh, oh, I hate to say this, but hopefully it's the Pirates because it's my hometown. Well, actually, I was born there. So you'd like to see a Pirates-Minnesota World Series? Yeah. This week's show is brought to you by the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Shop at 108th and Kedzie. Get all your car work done there, like me. The Lansing Floral Shop is the place to go for all your floral needs. Call 708-474-1212. Huck Finn Restaurants, a huge menu, open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 105th and Cicero, and 67th and Pulaski. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch, very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.